So we'll start off with these pickles. Yeah, but they have no reason not to be at the beach anytime they want. I love pickles. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so thank you. Alright, what is up y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. I'm your host, Big Mike, and today we are out at Jefferson Fry Company out in Storrs, Connecticut, uh, part of Yukon College campus, I would assume, but we're going to go inside. They got some Amer great looking Amer American classics, including burgers, hot chicken sandwiches, bunch of fries, truffle fries, milkshakes. I don't know if I'm going to do the milkshake today. I got to get up early tomorrow for some more filming, but... Let's go inside and see what they got. So I'll see you guys in there. Those are the garlic Parmesan fries. We got a grilled cheese for the baby. And of course, my pickles. Alright, so we just got our garlic uh, parmesan cheese fries. We got our husky hot chicken sandwich. So let me show you guys what that looks like. And then we got two little dishes of pickles. This is what it came with. The lady saw I wasn't satisfied, so she brought me more. And one thing really worth mentioning is this Coke tastes almost so good that it, it, it tastes like it almost comes from the glass bottle version of Coke. And if you don't know... That's the best version. Still something for you to think about, Mo. This is great. So, we'll start off with these pickles. Yeah, but they have no reason not to be at the beach anytime they want. Yeah. 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 He's just, he's just leaving from the beach because they haven't gone to We're going to try some of these fries before I get too soggy. It's more dry, I think, but, you know. You guys know I don't really do fries like that, but we're going to try to use it. They're happiest when they're down there, so. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of fries, so. The garlic parm is good, the fries, I'm not really feeling. Like, whoever came up with garlic parmesan deserves to, like, the best, best friend in their entire life for the rest of your life, because that's an amazing combo. Yeah, it was in the 60s, in the 60s most days, yeah. Yep. But these fries, yeah, I love them. Yep. They're whole cut potatoes. Me personally, I'm, I'm a fan of using everything from the potato. Not too many people time. like that. But after that, we were, it was just us until the last night, and then they got well, great with the dog on the last night. It was, it's it was definitely nice layered, so there's definitely plenty of garlic and parm to go around. I'm trying to get to I'm trying to get to that sweet sweet spot down in there. Let me see if you guys can see that. I got the wrong GoPro with me today, but there's a huge sweet spot down in there. I'm trying to get to. It's like a huge heat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we cooked every meal. Yeah. 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 
the first night we, we ordered pizza. Yeah. It almost reminds me of, of elote, like street corn. That's what it kind of reminds me of. <laughs> But Maya, Maya does not like the water. Garlic Parmesan, five out of five. Those fries, fun. I give those like a one out of five. Maybe yeah. two. I'll be generous. But I'm not a fry guy. If you guys haven't been watching me that long, just know I'm not the biggest fan of fries. But garlic Parmesan, I definitely am. Scared herself and immediately got back out. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the sandwich. Uh, we did not. We got, we got it later. Yeah. The bottom bun feels softer than, than the top bun. Yeah. Many hours just floating. That's hot. Nope. So I think this is supposed to be their, their version of natural hot. Yeah, I mean, she does. Which she is called husky hot. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the bread takes away from the moisture of the chicken. You make the mistake of leaving something out. Then she'll, she'll be trapped. Yeah. 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 And I ordered it without mayonnaise, and it looks like they put mayonnaise on there. I'm gonna eat it because it's already here. But normally, I don't like to eat it with mayonnaise on it. Mm. I just bit my tongue. Ah, oh, that's so. Take two, big bite. Yeah, yeah. Immediately when you bite into it, there's like a little sweetness in on it, but after that, it's just pure heat. I mean, that's mostly green, though. Chicken is, like, drenched in the Nashville hot or the husky hot. All it tastes is, like, hot oil. There isn't really, like, like spices on it, like, that I can really taste, because all I taste is heat. So the heat is, like, overwhelming the flavor profile of the chicken. <laughs> but if you lick it, there's like, it's gonna sound weird, but I can taste flavor when I lick it, but not when I eat it. When I eat it, all I taste is just pure heat. Show you guys how moist that chicken is. Yeah. Me personally, I'm a big fan, a really big fan of either multiple slices of tomato or thick slices of tomato on a sandwich or a hot chicken sandwich or something like that. One of my favorite things in the world. That was gross, you guys just saw my saliva strings. <laughs> Sorry. This, this channel just went from PG to rated R real quick. That was like the new alien. This Coke. I'd give that Coke like a 7 out of 5 stars. That was great. That is great Coke. Are you thinking, you're thinking a larger dog, like a gold poodle, or are you thinking a smaller dog? That's how you know the chicken is moist when it like breaks apart like that. 
If I were to order this again next time, I would definitely do without the buns. I think I could do justice to the buns. I feel like the buns take away from this more than it adds to it. That bite had a lot of flavor in it. I can actually taste the flavor. Between the spice and the heat, I'm not even sure which one's on her. Right. As long as you're giving the dog time in the backyard and the best they are, they do. Right. It's a big, it's a big fence in the yard, and dogs will run around like crazy. Right. And that was the reason why you get the dog. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Safe to say, last bite right here down the hatch. Wow. Yeah. 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 It looked like a very nice fence. Yeah. It looks like it's like a sort of we, we did the drive by. We, yeah. Right there, you can see all the sauce and all the drippings on it. It looked pretty flat. It looked like a good, yeah. solid fence. And it's a nice high fence, too. Yeah. So, so pickles, pickles five out of five. Great. Tangy, shocked me to my core. You guys saw that. Coke, seven out of five. Especially for a fountain drink, seven out of five. With garlic parmesan fries. Garlic Parmesan, five out of five. Those fries, I give those like, like one, like a two. So I guess that would make them a three because the garlic parm plus the fries deduct it. It'll make it into a three. Yeah. And that chicken sandwich. Right. Right. Yeah. I'd, I'd say yeah. the bread definitely takes away from the chicken. Yeah. But if you're gonna do it, ask for it without the bread. But if you want the, the if you want the bread, get the bread. I'm just saying the chicken is way better without the bread. And don't be surprised that when you bite into it, all you taste is heat, straight heat from uh, from when you first bite into it. So, I mean, I give that chicken sandwich like a four. Um, I wish the bread had like something else on it that it wasn't like absorbing all the moisture from the chicken. But once you start really getting into it, getting all those flavors going in your mouth and stuff, um, it's almost unrecognizable that the bread is even there. I wouldn't even say unrecognizable, it's like the bread is no longer a factor. So, um, it's right up, it's right up the street. I mean, I, overall, would I come back to it? Absolutely. I know better for next time what I would order and what I wouldn't order. Definitely the husky hot chicken, no bread, extra tomatoes, lettuce, no mayonnaise. Um, and I'm actually tempted to actually get one of the milkshakes um, just to cool down what I got going on. So, uh, uh, I will take Maya with me everywhere I go. Oh, really? And mm. then I stop Should we get a milkshake? We're going to get a milkshake. So I'll see you guys back here in one second. I'm going to go grab a milkshake. Oh, uh, so their milkshakes are made with Hershey's ice cream, premium ice cream, and uh, food chocolate milk. This is the first time I've ever seen that. Did I just spit? Sucked <laughs> 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 to spit right out of my mouth, right? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so that was a fail. We're gonna just put that to the side. I didn't suck. <laughs> that, that was some fat boy stuff, guys. I'm telling you, this, was, this went from, from BG to rated R. Oh no. I can't believe I just sucked my own saliva out of my own mouth. That was great. It tastes like protein to me. It tastes like, like carbon and it tastes like... It tastes like protein. For six bucks. I but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this food review. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, don't stop to get on so I know. Okay? Take it from me. That was gross. So I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.